Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're looking at a tool that's trying to be so much more than just another piece of software. It's designed to be an AI teaching assistant. It's called WakeRound, and it's positioned as a teacher's most trusted partner right there in the classroom. So let's start with a big question, especially for all the educators out there. What if you had an AI co-pilot right there with you in the classroom? I mean, imagine something that helps with the lesson planning, the grading, differentiating instruction, freeing you up to focus on what really matters, the teaching. In this explainer, we're going to dive into how Wayground takes on some of the biggest challenges in education. We'll look at how it acts as a co-pilot, helps you create content in minutes, gets the whole class engaged, supports every single student, turns data into real insight, and you know, ultimately, how it might just redefine a teacher's entire workflow. Okay, so let's really dig into this idea of an AI co-pilot. The goal of Wayground, from what we can see, isn't to be just another app to juggle. It's meant to be a genuine partner designed to help with the day-in, day-out grind of modern teaching. So what is Wayground exactly? Well, you might actually know it by its old name, Quizzes. It's been around since 2015, but it's really evolved into this AI-powered hub that brings everything together. Instruction, practice, assessment, all in one place. And its reach is pretty staggering. It's used in 90% of schools in the U.S. and in over 150 countries. Now, one of the biggest parts of that daily grind we mentioned, it's what I call the content treadmill. That relentless, never-ending need to create new, fresh, engaging material for every single lesson. It's exhausting, right? And this is where that AI co-pilot really starts to shine. A teacher can just provide a source. I'm talking a link to a YouTube video, a text document, or even just a simple text prompt. And boom, Wayground's AI generates a whole lesson or a full quiz in minutes. It's a simple three-step process that could literally save hours of prep time. And we're not just talking about your standard multiple choice quiz here. The platform is super versatile. It lets you create exactly what you need, whether that's building interactive lessons from scratch, embedding questions right into a video, generating reading passages, or even just importing your existing Google Slides to make them instantly interactive. So you've made your awesome content in record time. Great. But now comes the real challenge. How do you get every single student hooked? Especially when you might have all sorts of different tech access levels in one room. This, for me, is a really key feature because it addresses that technology divide head on. If you've got a high tech, one to one classroom, you can use something called Mastery Peak. It's this fun, gamified mode where kids climb a mountain by getting answers right. But if you're in a low tech or even a no tech classroom, there's paper mode. You just project the questions, and the students hold up these special, scannable cards. You scan the room with your phone, and it instantly collects everybody's answer. Pretty cool. And the depth of that engagement is really impressive. We're talking more than 18 different question types. So you can go way beyond the basic multiple choice and use things like drag and drop, drawing, open-ended questions, and even have students respond with audio or video. It's all about checking for understanding in much more creative ways. Okay. All this engagement is fantastic, but it also helps us tackle one of the absolute hardest parts of teaching, meeting the individual needs of every single student in a diverse classroom. This is where Wayground can become a seriously powerful ally for differentiation. The platform has all these accommodations built right in that you can assign to specific students and you can do it discreetly. So for a student who needs reading support, you can turn on read aloud or a dyslexia friendly font. For others, maybe you add extra time, reduce the answer choices, or give them access to a Desmos calculator for math. And that differentiation goes even deeper. With just a few clicks, the AI can automatically spit out easy, medium, and hard versions of the same quiz. Plus, if your school uses a system like Clever, Wayground can sync with your roster and automatically suggest accommodations based on a student's official IEP or 504 plan. That's really targeted support. All right, so the lesson's over, the activity is done, but now you're staring at this mountain of data. How do you turn all those numbers into something you can actually use? You know, without spending your entire evening on it. There's this quote from Wayground's own docs that I think gets right to the point. The whole idea isn't just to record the fact that there are learning gaps, it's about giving you the tools to immediately go in and fix them. It's all about creating a super responsive teaching cycle. So the platform doesn't just dump the data on you, it actually guides you through this four-step loop, 
With one click, the AI analyzes the report, it flags the skills and the students who are struggling, it recommends targeted practice quizzes, and then lets you assign that practice directly to only those kids who need it. It closes the loop. So when you start putting all these pieces together, the instant content creation, the flexible engagement tools, the built-in differentiation, and that smart data analysis, you can really start to see how this could fundamentally change a teacher's entire workflow. This really is the whole promise of the AI Copilot, isn't it? It steps in to handle the tedious but super necessary tasks. It's generating your content. It's helping grade complex responses based on your rubric. It's analyzing the results to find those gaps, and it's creating different versions for your students. All of this frees you up to focus on the deeply human side of teaching. And that really brings us to our final and maybe the most important question of all. If an AI assistant can reliably handle so much of that administrative weight, what would you do with that time? More one-on-one -on -one help for a struggling student? More creative lesson planning? Or maybe, just maybe, you'd finally get to finish your coffee while it's still hot? It's a pretty powerful thought to end on.